Hi guys, I'm going to say it again, my famous line, another hamster food review. Vasali Lager Nature, 2.3 kilogram bag, which is absolutely the biggest bag I've ever had. So yes, it so looks like uh, we should give this a bash and see what happens with this. So I should get it open and do the dig. Oh my God. Now this is, smells lovely. This is what I think is going to be pretty darn good. So I'll just put, at least I can't get it all in the small tub. I'm just going to get uh, another tub out now. And then just put a bit in there and then the rest will go in a, um, one of these. So let's get this uh, yumminess opened. Oh my God, that's all I can say. Oh my God. Have you seen the size of these nuggets, pellets? Oh my God, they're lovely. Look at that. Right, guys. Composition first. So I'll let you do the dig and look at the food. See what, get this out of the way. See what you think. Right, let's see. For Sally Lager, nature. Now, this is the one that's got good nutrition in it. I mentioned it the other day, if you remember, where I said you'll be impressed. This is the same as uh, up there with Harry Hamster. Protein. Are you waiting, guys? Protein. 18%. Fat. Wait for it. 9%. Fibre. 8%. What do you think of that, guys? Do you need to put anything else with it? That is up to you. Now, this is a big bag. It was $5.99. Was it $5.99? Or was it six? It was around $5.99 or $6.99. Uh, if, I, if I go back into the account and find the price, I'll put it in the description for a 2.3 kilogram bag. This bag will last you a long time. This will definitely feed, um, say you had three Syrians, four Syrians. This would definitely, definitely do you months, absolute months, because I've just put enough in here, in this tub, and this usually fills about 500 to 600 grams. And this bag has still got another load left in there. Which I've got to find out getting it into a tub. I might have to put it in one of the other, into two. But that will definitely, definitely, definitely do quite a few hamsters. So if you have a few hamsters, you could be saving a bit of money there. So just bear that in mind. Right. Especially at the, that the nutrition levels, what they're at. So let's we'll get cracking. Yes, I'd say it's definitely more for Syrians because uh, of the bigger bits. Unless you dwarf, doesn't mind eating big bits. Now I've noticed with Arabella, she she doesn't mind eating the muesli bit. You know the big things in the muesli. I still want her off that mix because I don't like it much. But um, I want her on a dwarf mix. But she tends to eat the the big nuggets, so she, which is uh, very unusual for for a dwarf for me. Right, so I'm going to uh, get cracking, put some in there. Nice tasty morsels. Got a nice peanut in there. And, oh, it's got mealworms. Mealworms. What can you ask for, guys? You can't ask for, oh, my God. I'd say this is definitely, definitely comes to, um, I'd say it definitely, definitely matches Harry Hamster for Syrians. Definitely matches it in nutrition value. And there's no sharp bits as far as I can see. There you go, guys. There you go. Now, I'd be happy to feed Syrians this. There's a locust bean. There you go. Now just look at that. Now that you can't get this, I don't think on Amazon. I'll have to have a look. And that because I only saw it on Zoo Plus by accident. And uh, I've heard of a Sally Lag of um, 
like crispy uh, crispy muesli and the nuggets and stuff like that and obviously the treats and uh, section of them and uh, like the crocs but this is a brand new one it's brand new on um, zoo plus so guys if you want to check it out and by all means just check it out but just look at that mix would you if would you say oh that's definitely worth giving my serians um, um some and uh but yeah look at the size of the nuggets peanuts and uh not too much corn just a few corn flakes and uh not too many peas either whether there's some more at the bottom of the bag how much is in here this is a hell of a good mix yeah i love this see guys sometimes there's foods out there like i said with the expert if I, if it's if it's raving and it's good, I will I will give you an honest opinion. If it's neutral or it's bad, I will do that as well. But just look at it. Look, perfect. You know, for Syrians, I've like I've always fed them Harry hamster. Well, since it's come out anyway. So um, Kizzy were fed on it. Matilda was. Maisie is. But um. So it's one of the it's, it is one of our, one of the best, if not the best, out there for Syrians. But this, usually, with other muesli mixes, you find something wrong, like the protein will be out of whack or the fat. This is just perfect. Perfect. If you want to knock up the protein just a tiny bit more, then you, you can do. Just add a few more mealworms or whatever. Or, but uh, oh, there's a sharp bit, but I was, but that's about one. But you, you, I mean, your own sense tells you. If you, if you saw that in the food, you'd just whiz that. So that goes to a side. It goes in the bin. So you know that's definitely, definitely sharp. But it's, it wasn't like it's, it wasn't like the Buddy Dream basic where there's loads of sharp bits. So I'm hoping I've cheered you up a bit, guys, because I know you must have been very disappointed with the, when you saw the Buddy Dream basic mixes. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm disappointed as well, to be honest. But. Uh, the expert one, both of them, the Syrian and the Dwarf, I just love. Right, guys, so uh, just trying to get any anything down Maisie at the moment. So this has come as come at a right time, actually, because I think she'll like this. But it's just unusual. Like you got, you, instead of round nuggets, big round chunky nuggets, they made them into like boomerangs, <laughs> mini boomerangs. It's got some um, little puff corn. It's got these little white finger jigs, whatever they are, peanuts. I think your hamsters would be very, very happy on this, I think, because it smells lovely. Let's have a smell. Oh, it smells lovely. It absolutely smells, and the mix is just amazing. I just love it. Absolutely love it. If you get this bag, then make sure you've got, because uh, it's a 2.3 kilogram, make sure you've either got two big tubs, two big tubs, <laughs> or quite a few of these, or a um, big massive uh, tub. Because <laughs> obviously you don't want to leave it in the bag once it's open, unless you seal, unless you man, unless you just seal it back up, which is perfectly fine. But the but. The reason I don't keep them in bags is because they tend to seckle a bit and then you might get all the best stuff at the bottom and I don't know. So I always tend to put them in tubs so you can give it a good shape when you're getting out of the mix. But this is um, looking good. Now I'm not sure because it doesn't mention uh, just not suitable for dwarfs or anything like that. But uh, oh, there you go, there you go. It's got peas, mealworms. That's either a, a chicken or a turkey. It'd probably chicken, actually, but I have a chicken or a turkey. It's got uh, quite a bit of stuff in there, actually. Lovely. Yeah, I'm impressed. Definitely impressed. Can you imagine? You know, this would be a good diet for you know. Like, can you imagine, guys? If you mix this in with Ari Amster, you know, for Syrian, just this and, and Ari Amster. I think that'd be a per. I've not got. I've not worked the values out with that. It just come to me head then, but I'm sure that'd be a perfect mix. 
And if you added a few like selected pellets or um, other pellets out there, that's good. But if any of your choice of pellets as well, you don't need to. But obviously, if you if you wanted to, it'd be fantastic. Imagine Harry Hamster and this together. Obviously, I know the Harry Hamsters only come in small bags, but um, they're only two quid anyway at pets at home, so it's not too bad. You could just mix it up together. Or do them separate and, and put it in one bowl that way. So seven grams of each or five grams of each, whatever you have to eat. And uh, oh my god, that's a that's that'd be a a good diet for for Syrian. Definitely a good diet. Yeah, yeah. God, I might be changing uh, Syrian diets again. Actually, I think I will because that'll last a long time. A long time. And the dates on it good as well. And on the Bunny Dream um, Basics, what I've just done, they're good dates as well. They're going well into 2020, and this is 2020. So don't worry about the dates, guys, if you've got, if you've got, uh, if you're worried about the size of the bag. As long as you keep it sealed in some way or other, uh, it's fine. But it's certainly good for people who do, um, has more than one serian as well. So you've got two, three, four, maybe more, then it's it's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And uh, it's got me thinking now. I think I've got a new diet coming for Syrians. I mean, I won't change my mind on the dwarf one because I I'm, I think I've fixed on that one. <laughs> but <laughs> I think I'd, I'd, cause I definitely like the um, the mix of Buddy Dream Expert and the Vitacraft Emotion. But, yeah. I think, I think, guys, I'll do a video one day. Uh, one day. What would you think of um, like a, a list of all all different foods, like um, hamster foods and dwarf foods? You know, like just do a list, and uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, I was just saying. So this looks like um, I think yeah, I think I'll definitely uh, give this a go, and. Uh, Mix it with mix it with Harry Hamster, and see what happens. And uh, because there's nothing wrong with them nutri uh, nutrients at all, um, composition at all. I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed. It's high up there. Yes. So guys, so you could have just do another quick look because of that wraps this video up really. I haven't missed anything out as far as I know. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And more. There you go. There you go. So guys, I hope that's been a bit of help. I know and uh so if you think of getting this bag, it's it's just it says brand new on Zoo Plus, so it's, they've just got it in. So it's a brand new food. Uh, well, it is to Zoo Plus. I don't know if it's a brand new food in total by Vasari Lager. But they are good. I like them. I'm assuming Vasari Lager is Italian. Because that sounds very Italian. Vasari. Vasari. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, if you're interested in that, by all means, uh, you'll find it on Zoo Plus. And it's a good price for a big bag. So it is worth considering, if, especially if you've got a, a quite a few Syrians and you're looking to save money without cutting corners. With this, you're not cutting corners. Not it's just, just look at that. Absolutely lovely. And if if I uh, if I mix it like if mix it with Harry Hamster as well, perfect. Just perfect. Perfect. Syrians are much easier to cater for. It's just dwarfs that's. They don't do enough good foods out there for dwarfs. So. But yeah. There you go, guys. So, as usual, if you want to comment, just let me know what you think of the food. Whether you think it's not all that, that's fine. Like I said, everyone's uh, got their own. Uh, or you think it's, oh, it looks amazing, you're going to try it, then again, comment on that, uh, comment and just see what you think. So, I've just opened, I've uh, done this one proud. 
or should I say they've done us proud for Sali Lager? <laughs> yeah. That is a good in that. <laughs> I love it. I'll do some more research into this, you know, to find out if dwarfs can have it as well. And I'll let you know at a later date. I mean, because um, usually it's mainly, mainly um, sugar you have to worry about. But um, but the bits itself, they're not too bad. I mean, these ones, they may look big, but they're thin. So a dwarf could easily eat them. But um, I will do some research to find out. I might email them, actually. I'll just find out if it's suitable for dwarfs, if it's not got um, sh like much sugar in or any sugar. I don't think it has, but I'll... Uh, I'll check and I'll get back to you on that, guys, in another video. But um, I think it's just because it's got a serian on, it's probably aimed more at serians. So, yeah, guys, another fantastic review. Bye.